So this one doesn't sit well with me for some reason, and it's a bit of a mystery. This story is about a young boy named Nikolai who lived in this house with his family. But is it his real family? I say that because some of the photos I found inside were of him and different families. Hear me out. It just doesn't make any sense and I couldn't link the entire story together. It's all just speculation. Then you have grandma, but that's a different story. I'll touch on that part in just a bit. I did, however, discover that the house went abandoned in 2013. I also talked to the neighbors and asked, what's up with this house here? Do you know the family that lived inside? He replied, I've been living here forever and I never saw anyone coming or going outside of the house much. He also said they kept to themselves, but my question is, who are they? Is it his parents? I asked. He again said, I have no idea. We never spoke, but it was different faces every day, except for that young boy. And that was the end of the conversation. It's just really perplexing to me why the boy just disappeared with everything left behind. The only trace of evidence I can find in this house that made sense was the boy Nikolai. I found his school ID, driver's license, love notes from his girlfriends, and a letter from grandma that said this. I was happy to get your letter and hear that you're loving life in St. Louis. Thank you for sending us your grades. I knew you were doing very well, but I'm very sad that I have not seen you since Mindy and I came for your prom and they haven't talked in all this time. I think we all need to ask ourselves, why is that? Don't you? Somehow, we need to put a little bit more effort into seeing people who are important to us. And you are one of those people. Ben, myself, and Mindy really miss you a lot. You are a huge part of our life. And then it just ended. It's very sad, but hopefully we can look past that. I'm just letting you know you are missed. I'm happy to hear that you are doing well, and I can't believe you're a junior in college. I do hope working in a nursing home is only a stepping stone because I believe in you and you know you can do much better than that. Don't get me wrong, I love you being there and helping others out and seeing what you can do for people who have no one to care for them. But corporations only make it about money. It is sad and it will make your job very hard. I will return on 2-5-2013 and I'm loving life. No stress, no pressure, what a great life. Ben has had some health issues lately, but we are getting those worked out. Nikolai, we love you. We always have and always will. You were special to us the first time we met you, and that will never go away. Sorry it took so long to answer. Hopefully we can start from here and go forward on getting reconnected. Love, Grandma. The name is Ranger Rick. My mission in this series is to go back to the past, dig it up, search for clues, and stay curious. In each episode, I tell stories of abandoned places and their history. So come with me, let's explore together, and see what we can find. What's up, Rangers? So before we begin today's episode, I want to tell you that I would like you to join my Patreon page. Go to www.patreon.com forward slash Ranger Rick TV. And by your pledge of $2 a month, you'll receive a simple thank you by me in the tier one package. For $5 a month in the tier two package, I'll feature your name in the ending credits in each video, plus a simple thank you as well. If you do not wish to pledge, that's okay. Thanks anyway, now enjoy the show. All right, so we just found a way inside, and if you know me, you know the routine and you know the drill. I want to make it seem like as if you were the owner, 
how would it feel if you were the owner coming in through this door right here and this is what it would feel like and see like coming in through that front door. So I'm gonna give you a full tour and here we go starting now. This is truly a masterpiece. The only bad thing is there are lights, they're just not enough lights. We do have power to this place and as you walk in, you can tell this place is frozen in time. The, one of the first things you see is crossbows laying on this chair right here. Look at that. The power is running. It looked like somebody just left yesterday, like literally, he left yesterday. And this is kind of what we're left with. Look at this. Let me cut my light on for a bit so you can see what's going on. I do not understand this place. We have power running to the TV as well. Look at this. Let me turn off my light so you can see what's going on. There's power running to the TV. What happens if I turn this light on? This might be the porch light. Yeah, I'm gonna turn those lights off for now. Let me see. We have Halo in here, the video game. We also have Need for Speed, Hot Pursuit, whole bunch of movies. Oh yeah, this place is loaded, y'all. Please forgive me, I'm so excited right now because I love sharing these houses with you guys. I love my audience on YouTube and I don't mind showing you what you want to see. What is, I see some pledge furniture. Whoa, hold on. I thought those were batteries at first. That is not batteries, y'all. That is straight up ammunition. Look at that. Cut the light on again. This is ammunition. These are 22 bullets because they're a little bit smaller. You just found the Those are 22. And this is shotgun shells. Yeah, dude. I just I just found ammunition. I just found it. Yeah. That is incredible, isn't it? Yeah. I've never found that before. Look at this. Like, so much of it anyway. We got 22 bullets and shotgun shells. That's look, what they are? Yeah. Wow. And look at this. Yeah, and these are full. What? Dude, look at that. These are mini shotgun shells. Wow. They probably have about three or four pellets in here stacked up. Jesus. I went through all the drawers. Yeah. There's nothing really in them. No? Okay. I believe you. But this place is incredible. There's a lot of stuff to find. I see that. Look at this. It's set up like they just left yesterday. Look at this. It looks like a time capsule, y'all. Wow. And look at these pictures on the wall with this crack. This oh, okay. Yo, this place has been rotting away through the extent of time. Look at this. Wow. And this is what they sat on on the sofa right here. It looks kind of comfortable, I guess. This is like, I would say leather, but I don't think that's leather. I think that's like pleather or something. It's definitely not real leather. It doesn't smell like it either. We have a piano here. Don't get too excited. I don't think it's gonna work, but let's try it anyway. No way. It works. Whoa, it really does work. Wow. Do these work, the, cu the guitars? Wow, they really do. Let me see if I actually know how to play the guitar. Here we go. And I don't. But it does play. All right, y'all, walking into this room right here, it looks like to me that they created this room just for a workout room, and that's exactly what this was. Let me see, does this even turn on? This doesn't really go into anything, I don't think. But look at this, look at that, look. Yeah. Oh, they got a dollhouse right here, y'all. Can you open it? Wait, hold on. It's like from the other side, I think. Hold on. I don't want to knock anything over. Oh, look at this. I'm going to turn this beast around. You can kind of see what's in it. Look at all these rooms. Can I move this? Oh. Yes, that's, a, that's as far as I'm going to move it, y'all. But just to give you a general idea of what this looks like. 
on film. This is miraculous. What the hell is this? Looks like a light bulb or something. Oh, and there's a safe underneath. Oh wait, that's not a safe, that's just a chair. All right, let's keep it moving, let's keep it moving. This is their workout room. This is where they worked out at, and it's very small in here. And what is up with this? We have rice. Yeah, rice all over the floor for some strange reason. Let's keep it moving. Now, as you can see, we actually have power. How cool is that? How do you turn this thing on and off? Oh, it's over there, the switch. Whoa. This is who lived here. Put the light on him. Oh yeah. I think he definitely lived here in this house because I've seen other photos of him. What is this? A cup. Let me see. Can this come down anymore? Scissors. Yeah, it's nothing in there. All right, let me put that back. Y'all, leave it in the comments, but what do you think they use this furnace for? And it's inside the house. I don't think something like this should be inside the house. It could burn the house down. Oh, I get it. Yeah, this is a very, very old house. That's the furnace right there. Something tells me there was a long tube connected to the, the, this little stack right here, and that was the chimney, and it shot out through the roof. Pretty sure that's how that worked. Oh, and you got some beautiful driftwood. Now this isn't original driftwood. I mean, it is, but you can tell it's been plastered over and painted. Who is this guy? I don't think that's anybody famous, but definitely fill us in in the comments, y'all, if you know who that is. I'm thinking it's probably an old family member. An old family member left in time. Nasty air conditioner. Ugh. And this is another heater, more of a modern heater. What is all, hold on, I'm moving too quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What is this, what is this? Got a family photo album here filled with family photos. Oh yeah, this is cool. This is what I, this is why I like Urbex because I like looking at people's photos and stuff. I'm a people watcher. This is what I do. Got little babies here. She's cute, she's cute. She's a baby. Yeah, that's a big baby. Look at that. Oh yeah, nothing but babies here. She's cute, she's cute. And I'm guessing that might be the mama? I don't know. It's kind of hard to put the pieces together in this one. I'm trying the best I can, y'all, but let's see, what is this? That's the son. That's who we keep seeing in those pictures. Got some power tools laying on the ground right there. They look very abandoned and they don't look like they work anymore. Black and Decker. Looks like somebody graduated from high school. This is their gown, a graduation uh, gown. Staple gun. Yeah, you get the gist. All right, let's keep it moving. Let's move on. Here we go. Right. Before we move on, I just want to I just want to say something about this house. I really love this house. We're still in the room with the workout equipment. The well, kind of. That's the workout room. This is the room right next to it. Got the little boy's picture right there. This house is so cinematic. It is almost unreal. This house, to me, it almost belongs in like a movie, like a horror movie, like a zombie movie or something like that. It definitely gives off those creepy vibes, but you can tell the family like they loved and they cared for each other, but they just kind of let it go. So something tells me probably somebody died. And we just talked to the neighbor across the street and he says he only seen this family like twice since he's been living here. So it, they might've been a recluse family. You know what I mean? They only talked amongst themselves. And you, and you want to know something? That's okay with me. I don't care if you're a more private family. As long as you're a good person and you mean well, you don't have to talk to others. You know, you mind your own business and you do well with others and that's it. It is simply amazing. Look at this. Turn down the exposure a little bit. Look at those designs in that. That is so cool. All right, y'all, here we are starting off on the second floor. Let's go up. Gotta need the light on for this one because it's 
kind of dark up here. Let me see if I can actually turn the light off once I get upstairs. Oh, wow. That is a beautiful looking room. Oh. I'm gonna come back to that room, hold on. This caught my attention. Look, oh boy. <laughs> wow, <laughs> jeez. Who made up this room? God, y'all, seriously. Who the heck made up this room? I love this room with the red and the black. Look at that. And you got this beautiful chandelier it's so short to the ground. The ceiling is probably like seven foot tall, maybe like eight foot, I say. But like, I could touch this. Why did they put the chandelier so low? My question is, why did they have a chandelier here in the first place? And somebody felt the need to put a nice looking French style sofa in here with the beveled legs. Doesn't have, uh, doesn't have claw legs but it does have really cool looking legs with the wing back sofa look. Nice. Let's see if this is real wood. Yeah, that's real wood. This actually feels like plastic kind of, but I could be wrong. Yeah, you can tell, yeah, you can see the meat of the furniture right there. Look at that. Give me a thumbs up. Here we go. And look at that. Christmas lights. I wonder if they still turn on. How do you turn them on? I don't know, I'm not gonna worry about it. Wow. I'm, you know, speaking of turning stuff on, let's see if we have power upstairs, just like we do downstairs. Can we do that? Oh yes. <laughs> we have power. What in the world? We actually have power. I can't believe it. Look at how beautiful that is. Wow. <laughs> I was not expecting this whatsoever i am simply astonished and amazed of what i'm seeing here that looks like a santa claus there is that what that is yep that's a santa claus christmas decorations because no place is complete without say it with me christmas decor what is this oh here we go some family photos right there let me zoom in a little bit yeah Looks like two daughters. And whose ever room this was, I'm guessing it was a guy's room because you have all these baseball stars right here. The St. Louis Cardinals. Although this house is not in St. Louis. Look, it's a punching bag. Can I punch it? That's nice. No air in it though, but we can still punch it. Whoa, whoa. I did not even see this when I came in here. Look at this. A crossbow what the world oh my goodness what can I pick it up and get, wait hold on can I shoot this thing wait let me pull back on it oh no it's kind of broken let me see that is cool though can I pull it no the, the triggers broken is there a safety no the tr it's broken it won't work but it's still really awesome though Whoops, my bad. And whoever lived here loved to drink beer and loved to smoke. As you can see, quite a sight. Oh, so I saw bullets downstairs. We got bullets up, well, up upstairs too. Look at this. That's a nine millimeter. That's heavy. That's a nine millimeter bullet. Let's see what's in here. Nothing. Can't leave anything untouched though. What is all this stuff back here? Turn on the light. It's just beer glasses and whatnot. What are these? These look like overgrown chess pieces. That looks like black, white, and red marijuana leaves on that painting. <laughs> Maybe they like to smoke too, I don't know. What is this up here? This is how you can tell Mother Nature has been taking over. Look at this. Mother Nature's definitely taking over this place. All the vines rolling through. If I had to take a guess, I want to say this place. I, 
I want to say this place has been abandoned since 2020, maybe, but I'm not sure. I used to have one of these chairs growing up. I remember it was in my room and I accidentally broke it. I fell right through the seat. Look, <laughs> they're not that durable. <laughs> it's the seat was made out of straw, but still really cool. Oh, what do we have here? We got Memphis Music, Barbecue Kings Blues Club. Yeah, this is in Tennessee. Memphis makes sense. Look at this. Got a picture of Elvis right here. Well, that's cool. Look at that. Huh? Cut the light on a little bit. Yeah, Elvis Pres Presley's Memphis. Barbecue Kings. Yep. Makes sense now. And it looks like they were a fan of the Kansas City Chiefs. Give a shout out to the Chiefs today. And this is just, this is just too much to take in. This is beautiful. I love it here. A time capsule and a half. This amazing chess board I just found. Oh yeah, that's real. That's made out of marble. Wow. That is impressive. And this is driftwood right here, I believe. Somebody painted the driftwood right here. All right, say goodbye to this room, y'all. Bye room. We're gonna go into the next one. Follow me, let's go and see what is up. I believe that is the master, but I'm not sure yet. What is the, okay, yeah, this is a kid's room. We're gonna need the light for this one. Let me turn my light panel on real quick. See what's going on. Whoa. Ooh, look at this. Little baby Buddha statues. Oh, these are all made out of like porcelain. No, this is all wood. Oh, these are cool. Okay, this is porcelain. All these little Buddha statues. What is this thing? That is weird looking. We got dinosaurs, tigers, triceratops monsters. What is this? This is a stone. Ooh, an army soldier. Pandas. And I love this. These little bouncy balls. Look at that. I love these. Oh, I want to take one so bad, but I know I can't. Look at this. I like the green ones. You can kind of dig your fingernail in these things and kind of tear them apart, but I'm not going to do that. Look at this. What is down here? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Let's go over there and see what we can find. Look at this. What is this all about, y'all? What is all of this? Is this the family? No, that's just a stock photo. Here's a VCR tape. Grumpy old men. Wow, that is an old movie. That's like the early 90s, I want to say that came out. We actually have an Amazon box right here. Amazon container. Ooh, what is this? This looks like a little note. Nothing interesting. What is all in here? Looks like nothing. This is a bunch of nothing. Got another VCR tape up there. That's a safe. What is in this safe though? Let me pull it up. Oh, that safe is heavy. There's nothing in there. No. Oh. Ouch. Ah. Here's something. I think this is a picture of the young boy who used to live here with his dad right there in the corner. What's he doing? I think he's just posing for the picture, I guess. Got some Everlast boxing gloves right there. I did find this. Hold on. Right aid. Let's see when this place went abandoned. I don't I never saw any calendars in here yet. Let's see. What's the date of this newspaper? Sales date November 30th through December 3rd. But it doesn't say how old this paper is. This paper does look old, but not that old. Can we find anything right here? Uh, doesn't really say anything about the date. Uh, help me out, y'all. Leave it in the comments. Come on. It's killing me. Yeah, I can't find anything on this. Oh, wait, it turns on. Oh, this is a heater. It feels just like a heater. All right, I'm going to turn it off. Yeah, because I don't want to burn a place down. Oh, a spider. Uh, a spider. All right, let's go. Let's go into the next room. This, I believe, was the master. Yeah, this had to be the master. 
Whoa. What is this? What? Wait a minute. That's ping pong ball. Wait a minute. This is a Game Boy Color. What the hell? Hold on. Let me, let me find some batteries to see if this thing works. Right, so I happen to find some batteries. Let's see if this thing will work. Cross your fingers. That goes that way. This one goes that way. Game Boy Color from the 19... I think the late 1990s. Oh, whoa, let me see. Oh, nah. -uh. Oh, the red light's working. The red light's working. Here we go. No way. This thing actually still works. This is Pokemon. Whoa. Game Boy Color is on point. They made these things the last back then. What the heck? No way. It's loading. It's loading the screen. Let's see if it will fully run. Oh boy, that is a great cinematic with the Pokemon. What in the heck? How is this still even running? What does that say? Pokemon, I told you. Look at this. Do we have sound? Wait, how do you turn the sound on? Guys, leave it in the comments. Is this the sound or not? I haven't had one of these ever. Pokemon game. That is Pokemon. I never had a Game Boy Color before, so I don't know, but let's see. It works. Are you a boy or a girl? That's what it says right here. Guys, I'm getting carried away with this. <laughs> it just asked me I'm a boy or girl. Well, duh. All right, you get the gist. I don't want to waste the whole video on this Game Boy Color, but this is like one of the coolest finds I ever found in a abandoned building. Turn it off. All right, it works. Wow. Huh. Give a thumbs up to the Game Boy Color. So I got a little bit carried away, I admit. Now let's check out this bedroom. And one of the first things you see when you come inside this bedroom is family photo pictures. This is some of my favorite stuff to see here. Wow, this must have been the family they used to live here. Look at this. I see baby pictures, family pictures. Here's a dog that they used to have. What is under here? Oh, here's a witch. More family photos. I think this boy was downstairs in that picture that I took earlier. Yeah. Yeah, I took a picture of him right there. That is him. What? Here's a baby doll. What is this? Here's a... Let me see. What is, oh, this is gold. What is... Oh, this is a love note. Nicola, words cannot even describe how amazing these few weeks with you have been. Where we met, you were so sweet and so much fun to be around. After just a few hours of texting, let's see, with you, I knew I had to get to know you. And eventually make you mine. Oh yeah, this is definitely a, no a love note. I'm not gonna read this whole thing to you, but if you wanna go ahead and pause the video, you can kind of see what it says. Guys, I'm still in the bedroom. Look at this. I found another one, another one, another love note. Here we go. And what does this one say? Come on, get it out, get it out, get it out. Have you truly seek God's counsel on what you should do? This is the problem with me giving you advice. All I can do is paint you to Christ and what he has to say. My advice comes from you and what I know about God. Okay. Well, this looks like a, a daily journal to God. All right, let's give a shout out to God. I'm going to take a picture of this because I really want to read what this whole thing says. Pause the video, guys, if you want to know what this is all about. Here's another note I found. I'm not going to read all of these. But this is so surreal to see all this. Oh my God, look, that's the boy downstairs too. I, I just found two driver's licenses. Well, that's a driver's license. This is something else. Oh, this is tell you where they went to school and everything. Why did they leave all this stuff behind for people to see like this? Oh, what the heck? This is a drawing. 
that's actually a very good drawing for a younger kid. Oh, this is one of those 3D hologram things that you plug in and it lights up. I wonder if we can get this thing running. It's like a little mini fireplace. Where's a plug at? I want to plug this thing in so bad. All right, let's keep let's keep looking around. Hold on. What else can we find here before we start plugging stuff in? Nothing so far. That's a big battery pack for some odd reason. I usually find still cool stuff under the bed, but let's see. Here's some bolt cutters. I don't know what they need bolt cutters for. Probably for all the wrong reasons, whatever. <laughs> all right, here we go, y'all. Let's see. Still in the uh, master bedroom. I'm very fascinated by this room. What is all that stuff up there? Is that pictures? We got some more stuff down here. We got landline phones. We got a heater back in there. A little floor heater. Let's take a look. Let's see what this stuff is all about. Oh, that's heavy. Oh, yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's some kind of decoration. Whoa, they got a balcony leading outside. Oh, this is cool. I've always wanted a balcony that led to outside on the second floor of my house. But yeah, this is really neat. I am obsessed with this place. Let's go outside for a bit. Let's see what's going on. Nothing at all. Wow. You know, what perplexes me, look at this. There's a lock right here. I bet, you, I bet you we can go into the attic with this lock, but it's, yeah, it's locked right now, so we can't get in. So, unfortunately. All right, let's start digging around, see what else we can find in here. Whoa. Nothing. 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 Nope. 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 All empty. Whoa. Here's something. We have a camera, a few condoms, a few thousand condoms. <laughs> Calm down, son. Calm down. Here we go. One. Ugh. Can't get that back in. One last drawer. Nothing. Now, something makes me think this was actually the kids' room because they got Pokemon games in here. This is a cool looking knife. family pretty cool oh i love this stuff i'm not gonna eat it but uh yeah this is like astronaut astronaut ice cream napoleon ice cream but it's freeze-dried ice cream up oh, just found another bullet now that, that that does not look like a nine millimeter bullet that looks like maybe like a 380 or something like that all right here we go and this is what i'm talking about paper let's see what the last date was January 2017. Can y'all see that? Let me zoom in a little bit. January 2017. Right there. Here we go. Walking into the bath. Huh? The sheriff is here. No. Yep. Uh, I am not happy, y'all. I am not happy. Yes, you heard that right. The sheriff did, in fact, show up. So we go outside. We talk to the sheriff. Luckily, he was cool, dude. He was understanding. He basically just said, look, y'all, I know what you're doing. It's fine with me, but you can't be here right now because you're not the owner. So he was fine with us taking pictures of the house and everything like that. But unfortunately, yeah, we're not the owner, so we couldn't be there. He had to do his job. So we respect that. And we left. He left. We left. But I'm so pissed because I wanted to show you guys what the rest of the house actually looked like. Oh, I could have stayed in there probably about another two hours, but that's one of the consequences you pay with urban exploring. You know, somebody can see you go inside of one of these places and rat you out. So luckily we didn't get in too much trouble. Uh, he just told us we had to leave and that was it. Now roll the credits. <laughs>